Welcome back. I'm Amazing Crystal, and we're talking about the Beatitudes. Our scripture comes from Matthew 5, verses 2 through 12. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Remember in our last lesson, we talked about Jesus giving the people a list. That's the Beatitudes. What happens if I shake this jar? Jesus told us that God's people are to be in the world, but not of the world. In this sermon, Jesus wanted to tell the people how God's people are to live. A person cannot belong to God and live however he wants to. Just like the oil and water are both in the jar. Christians are in the world, but the water and the oil separate. The church and Christians cannot behave like the world. Each of the Beatitudes begins with blessed are those who. That word blessed means happy. Jesus has taught us how to be happy. But like our jar, it isn't what the world would consider happiness. Let's keep building our hamburger of happiness. As we learn more about Jesus, as we partake of the bread and living water, we will begin to think differently and change our actions. God will cleanse our hearts. This is what the churchy word sanctification means. It's allowing God to clean your heart, your motives, your thoughts, your actions, your words, everything. It's a slow process though. But if we allow God to show us the sins we need to get rid of, then he will, we will see him. One day, we will see him face to face. But even now on earth, God reveals himself to people in many ways. Therefore, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Now, how do we stay connected to God? We live like Jesus and remain pure in heart. Here's how. We pray this prayer every time we sin or do something that God does not want us to do. Pray with me. Jesus, I know that you made me and want me to obey you with all my heart. I know at times I have disobeyed and wanted to be my own boss. I have thought and done things against your directions. I'm sorry. I know that you gave up your life to save me from these sins and make me your child again. I accept your promises and ask you to please save me now and forever. Amen. Thank you for watching another amazing object lesson. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share.